The other track record at Allegan was set in the two-year-old Colt Pacing Division. Best foot forward gave Brad Kramer his second record-setting win of the day as he entered the stretch on a tear and a three-length lead. The only suspense here was in determining who would finish second, and that turned out to be Admiral's Express with Julie's Legacy third. Best foot forward won in two minutes and two, sending his earnings over $20,000. The son of Keystone Raider is trained by Roger DeMoss and owned by Walter Bird of South Lyon. The only standard bred class of the afternoon was in the three-year-old Colt Trotting Division and saw but two horses enter against On to Rome. And Manly Man gave the heavy favorite a real scare, charging up on the outside to take the lead midway through the stretch, then tire just before the wire as On to Rome came back to win by a head and continue his domination of this class, winning in 204 for owner-trainer Rob Thomasma of Sturgis. The son of Rob Way Butch now has 10 wins in 14 starts and over $82,000 in the bank. In the Blue Circuit class for three-year-old Colt Trotters, Jesse's Mark led into the stretch with OK Super Chris bearing down on the outside and Mucho Star down and at the rail third. But turning for home, Mucho Star splits the uprights and trots on through to win in 205 and 2 for owner-driver-trainer Gary Sutherland. The son of the retired Superman, who stands at our featured Starwin Farm, picks up his first win of the year. In the three-year-old Philly trot, Lumber Lori was gunning for her ninth win in ten starts and was interfered with in the first turn, and that left Knox Trot with Carl Putnam Jr. to lead from start to finish, winning by two lengths over Above and Beyond and Hawo Goodbye in 2-7-3. and three. Knox Trot is owned by PV House Stables of South Lyon and trained by Carl's wife, Lisa. In the two-year-old Philly Pace, Blizzard Babe regained her form to show just how gutsy a babe she is. With Vineburner on the inside, the babe pressured on the outside from the three-quarter pole all the way to mid-stretch, where she showed just how tough a filly she is, winning for driver Vince Copeland in 201 and 3. Owner John Tarantini wasn't able to make it down from Echo Bay, Ontario, to see the daughter of Admiral's Galley pick up her sixth win in 15 starts for trainer Wayne Carter. In the two-year-old Philly trot, Noble Jackie with Chuck Taylor led to the stretch, with romping Henrietta challenging around the final turn. But as the Phillies entered the stretch, Carney's Rachel blew on through to win in 209-1 for driver Daryl Wright. The Philly, by Carnes, is owned and trained by Ricky Roberts, co-owned by Dan Garver, and picks up her third win in 10 starts this year.